And so the months passed and I missed my old life more and more. And then, suddenly, the opportunity arose. A creature appeared on the horizon that could be a vehicle for my old and longing soul. There was, however, a snark. She represented the opposite sex to mine. But whatever. It is hard not to notice that in the present world there is not much difference between man or woman, dog or a bitch. This one was called Gigi and she had about three to four years of life behind her in the vicinity of the animal clinic. I was walking on Aupong Beach that day and I felt somehow strange. Like I was going through some kind of déjà vu. A man was watching me from the restaurant and was calling for me to come over. When I walked over to him, he greeted me very warmly, as if we knew each other well and for a long time. He was so nice to me that I didn't go back to the clinic anymore, but I stayed here. A kitten called Lucian also live here. He's very independent and he treats me in a very peculiar way. He follows me if he is watching over me, especially when I'm hunting crabs. I have never done this before and I don't know what came over me. We also go for a walk every day on the beach and sometimes I feel as if I know every stone here. Even the balcony where I take a nap sometime seems strangely familiar to me. Only during the rainy season it's a little boring here. The more so as Michal has gone somewhere. But something tells me that this is his habit. To live in the spring and come back in autumn. One day he told me that he was so glad to come back here because where he came from people put muzzles on their faces and they spit at their throats like a mad dogs. He says that the world has gone crazy. What a story! Fortunately no one put a muzzle on me here and I can walk wherever I like and I'm not heading anywhere. One day Lola came over here. I knew her before because she belonged to the group of dogs from the clinic. But she started acting like she didn't want to go back there at all. She acted like her real home is here, in our pong. At the beginning it annoyed me a little bit because I had the feeling that I knew her longer than I really did and I have no present memories associated with this beach. She also had a strange habit of lying under the benches and growling at the guests and acted as she was a boss here. Michal joked then that we have a great regards from Bert Herringer, but I didn't know who he was talking about. Lola even wanted to set up Lucia, but it didn't work.
With time, Lola and I got along, and I must say that we even became friends. Sometime only so unfamiliar instinct awoke in me that I had never felt before. But maybe it was just my imagination. This year there are hardly any guests on the island. Sometime whole teams of Farangs and Thai came here jointly for the glory of environment to set up a coral plantations. The rainy season came. In addition to the fact that it brings rains and storms, the sea revealed coastal corals and we have the opportunity to look at them closely. It is also a good time to collect mussels, snails and to try coastal fishing. Riam jokes sometimes that instead of doing this, people in distant lands, they go to the woods to pick up mushrooms and forest fruits. As some fear of pandemic had also reached this island, our place became completely deserted. Occasionally only some people appeared here and they look very strange with these muscles on their faces. Instead of people, my friends and colleagues came together very often and we have a lot of fun on the beach. Everyone is very nice to me. Sometimes only I get an inexplicable longing for a distant and unknown world of which I feel a part and which I have never had the opportunity to get to know.